Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So find the Maclaurin series for this function where k can be anything on the real number line. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, remember the Maclaurin series, remember the Maclaurin series is the Taylor series centered at zero. So if you, if you make, uh, if you make a equals zero, then the Taylor series will become the Maclaurin series. So it is a Maclaurin that series that we're interested in. But the thing is, we need to know the nth derivative each step of the way, evaluated at, at zero. So we need to we need to figure this out. Um, yeah, we need to figure this out. So so going back to the very beginning, we are trying to find the Maclaurin series for this function. So start out with your function. So start out with your function. Now differentiate it to find the first derivative. So differentiating this, the k will come down. Now we're going to give you this. The bubble stays intact. And then the power gets minus by one. And then different to find the second um, to find the second derivative, differentiate it again. So uh, so this thing here will then come down here. That will then give you this. And then the power gets minus by one. That will then give you this. The bubble stays intact. Differentiate it again. Uh, so this thing here is this. The bubble is this here. So when you when you differentiate it again, this will come down here. That will then give you this. And then the bubble get uh, the the, this thing here gets minus by 1, so that will then give you this. Differentiate it again, it will then give you this. So now take it to the nth term, so it's dot 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 dot, um, dot 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 dot, that will then give you, um, well if, if you look at this, when it's 3, when it's 3 it will be, um, this will, it will be k minus the same number, so over here. Uh, when it's 4, it will be k minus the same number as over here. So when it's when it's n, it will be k minus the same number as over here, k. Well, do whatever you want. Find the um, find the pattern that will take you to here. Uh, because if you look at this here, when k is three, uh, the 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 uh, the thing the the thing that's just before the bubble would be would be well here you've got two. It would be one less than this thing here. If you look at the four, the uh, this thing here would be one less than the four. Blah blah blah. Find the pattern that will then take you to here. So if, uh, if you look at this, hang on. If you look at the Maclaurin series, we we need to find the n uh, the nth derivative evaluated at zero. So so if you look at this here, we we have this thing here. This thing here gives us the ability to work out the derivative, the nth derivative. But the thing is, when it comes to the Maclaurin series, we always need to evaluate it at zero. So we need to put zero into this x. If you put zero into the x, that would mean you would put zero into here. That would mean 1 plus 0, 1 plus 0, this whole thing here would be 1. So 1 to the power of anything here, it would be 1. So this is going to be 1. And then, uh, so so the nth derivative evaluated at 0 would just simply be this thing here. Because this, this whole thing here would be would be 1. So uh, so we can now put this into into this block here. Okay, so, so the Maclaurin series would then give you this. So... Uh, so, so this block here is this thing here. Everything now stays the same. So now to put it into a term that, well, to put it into a series that we can visualize. So with the Maclaurin series, uh, when when uh, when n when n equals zero, you would put it into here. This thing here would be one, and then put zero into here, um, into this n here. This thing here would be one, uh, and then and then the the uh, so so this thing here is the original function. Uh, it, this thing here would be the, the first derivative. Well, f zero would be uh, the original function. So we need we need the original. So when n equals zero, it is us looking at the original function evaluated at zero. So look go. Uh, so going to the original function, uh, we 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 re remember we need to evaluate it at zero. So we need to put zero into this x. So that would be one plus zero. So this thing here would be one. Uh, so one to the power of anything, it would be one. So, so that means that our first, our first term will be one. Okay. So, so when n equals zero, put it into here, put it into here. Um, it would be you looking at f of zero. f of zero is the original function evaluated at zero. So, um, so looking at this, you will put zero into here. It will, it will eventually give you one. Okay. So, so now we need to look at n equals one. So the next term. Uh, put it into here, and one factorial would be one. Put it into here, you're going to have x to the power of one, which is 
this thing here. And then uh, and then now now put this into here. So f1 would be the first derivative evaluated at zero. So we would need to look at the first derivative. So this is our first derivative here, evaluated at zero. So we need to put zero into the x. Well, if you put zero into the x, um, this thing here will become will become one. One plus zero will become one. So uh, so uh, so that will then be, so so one. Looking at this, one to the power of this will be one. So so your so so this block here will will be will just simply be k. So that will then be k, and then this thing here will be will be this x here, and then for for n equals uh, for n equals two, put it into here. So that will be two factorial, which will be this. Put two into here, that will be uh, x squared, and then uh, and then put the two into this n here. So that will be the second derivative evaluated at zero. So we would look at the second derivative, that's this thing here, evaluated at zero. So you, we would need to put zero into the x. So uh, so that means that this thing here would be one. One to the power of this thing here would be one. So you're just simply left with this. So this thing here is this thing here. Okay, and then and then when n equals uh, when n equals three, put it into here. That will be three factorial. Put it into here. That will be x to the power of three, and then uh, put it into here. That will be you looking at the third derivative evaluated at zero. So the third derivative evaluated at zero, you would look at this. Uh, the third, the third derivative evaluated at zero. So evaluating it at zero would be you putting zero into the x. That would mean that this thing here will be one, one to the power of this thing here. It, it will be one. So this whole thing here will be will be uh, one. So uh, so. So all that you're left with is this. That will then give you this. And blah blah blah. You can now see the pattern. So so once you've got the first few terms, you can now take it to infinity. Okay, so so this is your Macron series. Okay.